Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. Check it out, check it out. We are back with a leaner, meaner, pro tour winning -er version of Mono Red than you are used to seeing on this channel, but it is good stuff, I promise you. Uh, you'll notice resemblances to the Pat Cox version of the list played at uh, Pro Tour Vancouver, notably one of Titan Strength, um, one of Heel Cutter here, uh, with more in the board, but we'll get to that in just a second. Other notable inclusions, four of Searing Blood, four of Lightning Berserker and Swift Spear, uh, and three Zergo Bell Strikers, uh, four Exquisite Firecraft and Stoke, of course, round out the main deck. Let's take a look at the board. Sideboard, we're all about uh, shoring up our green-white matchup. They have Dromica's Command, which really... Uh, punches a hole in our game plan more often than not. <clears throat> but the good news is uh, their lions early on are vulnerable to rending volley. It's also good against a growing number of blue-black control that's looking to beat the green uh, you know, decks that are looking to beat us. So that's a little bit of a next level choice for the uh, sideboard. Roast, of course, takes out uh, all those nasty ground pounders that are running around in green and in Obzon. Scouring Sands is for Sundry Goblin and Thopter Token cleanup detail. Scab Clam Berserker and Thunderbreak Regent as one ofs are uh, for the mirror match mostly and also for other aggro matchups. Um, the Thunderbreak just breaks the mirror match wide open, like they can't deal with it without taking three, and it'll eat all their guys, which is quite nice. Heel Cutter is just another uh, weapon in the arsenal against uh, Fat Butts and Standard right now. Uh, just punch right through them. Uh, Outpost Siege is a two of, kind of doing double duty here in uh, games where we get to the mid game. We definitely like to be able to generate the card advantage. Also, it gives us something else to sack other than our mainboard Eidolons, which uh, I forgot to mention is another difference between the Yo Larson list and this one. Anyway, that's the rundown. Let's see if we can jump henceforthly into a standard match and do a little demonstration here. I hope everybody out there is doing well today. Looking forward to seeing Mono Red Aggro in action as we count down and roll them dice. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that this is a... Uh, that's a borderline keepable hand, but we're not going to mulligan the land with... Or a hand with four lands at Stoke and Firecraft. We will, however, try to cast our Swift Spear with no land on the field. <clears throat> As I was saying, this deck is... Here's that mirror match I was mentioning. Deck is lower to the ground than the list that you may be used to seeing on the channel. Uh, you know, I prefer to run for Thunderbreak Regents, but... It's really great against the mirror. So here we're going to play Abbott and hope to hit a land. If we don't, we'll play the land from our hand. And um, if we do, now that's interesting. So we'll play the land from our hand and the exiled card, in this case. Uh, always yield to the prowess trigger. And he gets sprayed, but not before we get some value out of our turn three. Not as much as we'd like to, but... Uh, <clears throat> it almost seems like opponent here is pre-sideboarded for... We aren't going to let him untap with that, by the way. Uh, is pre-sideboarded for the mirror match. Packing two or more magma sprays is unconventional. But we are doing a good job at... Maybe keeping a little bit of momentum. Not as much as I would like to see, of course. That's fine with us. We only have exquisite... Um, two 
two exquisites. Two exquisites are better than one, that's for sure. <sighs> so I think we just exquisite opponent here. And then we can hold up uh, one mana to pump in case he attacks with Eidolon, if he's feeling squirrely. And this keeps us ahead in the HP department. And then we can just do that as many times as our opponent feels like taking four with nothing happening. Okay, he's going to stoke us, which is an interesting choice. And exquisite us. And even after taking eight, we're still in a okay position here. And he's attacking with Eidolon. If he does this, we block, oops, block and pump. And, oh, well, okay then. <clears throat> don't uh, don't have anything to say about that. Okay, so uh, before this gets too much further out of hand, let's just go ahead and stoke the Eidolon. Now we're playing from the back foot, which is not where we want to be. Okay, we're going to have to use another one of our premium burn spells on the Rabble Master here. Which I'm not happy about. <sighs> Falling further behind. Opponent outdrawing us, more or less. But we can bring him down to 50% of his current HP. And one of these premium burn spells, which we still have three or so of. Nope, we're dead. Okie dokie! Lost that one hard. We're going to go to boards and... We'll join you for game number two against the Mirror Match.